Well, today I have a surprise for Colin and Jennifer, and also Sean and Emma. But there, it will we won't we'll both fail them because they won't understand. You know what we're gonna do in, in a week or two? I love you, mommy. <laughs> I love you, Nastasia. Colin, do you know what we're gonna do in a week or two? No. What? Who is it? That- we're gonna go see a rocket launch. Why? What? I don't know. It's still here. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go watch the Falcon Heavy. The biggest most powerful rocket that there is we right do, now we're we gonna does, go watch it we we just pretending we could no we're going, we're, we're gonna go see it oh, <laughs> horn quest it's time for horn quest yeah horn So the Falcon Heavy will be the most powerful rocket in the world currently in use. The Saturn V was more powerful, but obviously not in use today. The Falcon Heavy can lift a staggering 63,800 kilos or 140,700 pounds. This is about the same mass as a fully loaded 737 with passengers, baggage and fuel. What a flight that would be. After having a successful static firing of all 27 engines on January 24th, paved the way for it to go for launch. Rumors currently have it targeting a February 6 launch date, with the launch window opening a little after noon. It will be an impressive sight to see. Sitting on top is a cherry red Tesla, which foregoes according plan will leave Earth's orbit and be orbiting the Sun in a similar fashion to Mars. We are using two previously flown or flight proven Falcon 9 boosters, and one new booster in the middle. The probable reason for this is that the center booster has additional strengthening to cope with the forces pushing at it from either side. I would imagine the center boosters will also be used exclusively for the Falcon Heavy flights and will never be used for a Falcon 9 or side booster because of the special strengthening. Also, if all goes to plan, two of the boosters will come back to Cape Canaveral and land at the two landing pads, while the remaining one will land at sea on the drone barge. So we can't wait to see what will happen. Worst case for us is that the launch is scrubbed and we end up having to come back home and miss the future attempt. Next is that the launch occurs, but at some point during the flight it goes through a rapid disassembly phase. Colin will probably enjoy the fireworks. And best of all, the launch is a success and the boosters return to land with the first Earth-driven vehicle leaving Earth forever. We'll keep you posted with our updates as we get ready to go watch a rocket launch. Is everybody excited? Yes, we're not going to blast off. We yeah, just... we're not going to blast off, but we're going to watch the rocket blast off. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.